Hey, welcome back. It's a device Galactus uses when he consumes a planet. It converts the vast energy into something he can assimilate. The inducer will allow you to safely absorb Doom's stolen god power. Without it, you'd be fried instantly. Yes, it's kind of like our super soldier program. The scientific experiments that gave us Captain America. Well, the Skrulls tend to force their volunteers into service, rather than asking their permission. Some of their Super Skrulls have been less than happy once the procedure's done. Hey, anytime. Welcome back. I understand you had a little excitement during your mission to Shi'ar. The situation on Earth has grown considerably worse. Dr. Doom has easily crushed any resistance. It would appear you are Earth's last hope. This places even more importance on your acquiring the muonic inducer. This device is used by Galactus when he consumes a planet. He is currently in the beginning stages of consuming a planet populated by the Skrull. Galactus is an entity of enormous powers. Born at the destruction of one universe, and during the birth of ours, he wields immense cosmic energy. Because of his incredible power, Galactus needs to devour entire planets to sustain himself. He uses a herald to search ahead and find planets suitable for consumption. They are a much older race than we are, having been capable of space flight for millions of years. Originally, they were peaceful merchants. Then, they met the Kree. The Kree are a race of warriors, so to protect themselves, the Skrull were forced to become warriors themselves. Now, violence and conquest are a way of life for the Skrull. Many times, and because of it, the Skrull have created various warriors in their Super Skrull program. In ways, but the Super Skrull program is much more intensive and sometimes takes volunteers against their will. But it has created a number of powerful warriors, such as Pybok and Super Scroll. You are welcome. Welcome back to Atalan. Armed with the Macran Crystal and the Muonic Inducer, you will. But there is little choice in the matter now. You are the last hope of defeating Doctor Doom. Should you fail, all is lost. I have interfered too much already. Or so my brethren believe. They have taken steps to prevent me from any further action. Because I saved you from death at Dr. Doom's hand, my people have nullified my powers. I could no longer aid you even if I wanted to. We are Watchers, which means we are sworn not to affect any kind of change, no matter how small. Yes. But I am certain, in time, my people will see reason and restore my powers. But until then, I am helpless. You are quite welcome. Welcome back. You did a good job finding the Macran Crystal. Dugan has come to Adelan, and from his report, things don't look good. Entire landscapes have been converted into Doom's twisted view of perfection. He's gone to a great deal of trouble to make a mockery of former hero bases. The X-Mansion, the Baxter Building, even Stark Tower haven't escaped his notice. Every attempt to stop Doom has met with dismal failure. Dr. Doom's done worse than defeat them. He's converted them into his own private army. There appears to be nothing on Earth that can stop Doom. Any time at all.
Welcome back from the Shi'ar Empire. How can I help you? The planet is quite important as it is home to the Scroll Empress. It also houses the main research center for the Super Scroll program. Galactus is not the least bit concerned about the creatures on the planets he consumes. He is only interested in feeding his ravenous appetite. Yes, while she has proven herself to be an able leader, she is rather self-centered and egomaniacal. Quite often she is attended by two bodyguards, the Super Skrull and Pybok. The Super Scroll was augmented in response to the Fantastic Four. He has powers that are similar to theirs, such as super strength, fire manipulation, elasticity, and the ability to generate force fields. He is also the result of the Super Scroll program. He was given powers that make him capable of defeating Earth's superheroes. I am pleased to help. Do you require assistance? Black Bolt, he is unable to speak because his voice is so powerful even the slightest whisper would destroy half of Attilan. Not if he can help it. He and his wife Medusa have developed a special sign language that allows them to converse. Your trip across the universe to Shi'ar was no trouble for him at all. No, he is as full of energy as ever. I don't know if teleporting tires him at all. I am happy to be of service. How can I help you? He used his god powers to change her, turn her into an evil version of herself. We don't know, but we'll be traveling to Earth to force Doom to change her back. Yes, Doom may have the power of Odin, but we're betting he can't defeat the combined might of the Inhumans. We can't leave my sister in her current condition. Would you be able to wait if it was your sister in this condition? No. We must leave soon and take the fight to Doom. We will make him pay for what he did to Medusa. You're welcome. Ha <laughs> ha! Soon we leave for Earth to free Medusa from Doom's control. Finally a chance for battle! How I shall enjoy stomping that pompous windbag into the dust. The Castle Doom is the only place that worm could be. He foolishly thinks all his gadgetry and god powers will save him. Friend, the Inhumans have battled creatures of infinite power before and won. I suspect we'll have things well in hand by the time you return from the Skrull planet. Crystal, Triton, and myself. Black Bolt would go with us, but we agreed it was best he stay here and guard Medusa should Doom come looking for her. Ha! I would go alone, but Crystal and Triton insisted on coming along. Be on your way. Fools! My Lord Doom will destroy you with a thought! You are insects before his infinite might! He showed me that he is the ultimate power of this universe. None can stand before him. You too shall soon hail Doctor Doom as your new emperor, and we will all bow down before his magnificence. 
I had gone to Muir Island in hopes of locating the ultimate nullifier, but I soon discovered doom was waiting for me. He had known someone would seek to use the nullifier against him. I foolishly attempted to battle him, but in a blinding flash of light it all became clear to me. Doctor Doom is invincible and all-powerful. All hail Doom! I've never been so glad to lay eyes on my own kind. I'd heard you were dead. I wish I had better news for you. Have you seen Medusa? Doom must be stopped before he can twist the minds of others. She is the wife of Black Bolt, the sister of Crystal, and a cousin of mine. At a very early age, she was exposed to the Terrigen Mists, which gave her hair that she could control with her mind. When they were both children, she would visit Black Bolt in his cell. They spoke using a special sign language they developed. It wasn't a prison, really. Because of his extreme power, he was placed in a soundproof room. He wasn't allowed out until the age of 18, when it was felt he could control his ability. Very rarely. Once, when the Kree were making a deal with Maximus to destroy us, Black Bolt shouted at the Kree ship. It wound up crashing on Parliament, killing Black Bolt's parents. Of course. Hello, it's good to see you. What can I do for you? It was no...